we are being murdered. This violence started in the days of slavery and to this day it continues. So I ask you, what are you doing to help break the cycle? Everyone, I hope you're all doing fine. Now, have you ever seen a child with audacity or with such a courage? The courage in this child is so obnoxious. It's so insane that he faces the prime minister and tells him the problems that the people are facing and he reprimands him and tells him to change his ways as up. So let's watch this video then have a quick discussion about the same at the end of it. Thank you so much. One love. Dear Prime Minister, where I live there are a lot of pedophiles so I'm afraid of going to the shops when it's dark. Number six, many of us are being bullied. Many of us are being beaten. Many of us are being sexually and emotionally abused. And we are being murdered. This violence started in the days of slavery. And to this day it continues. So I ask you, what are you doing to help break the cycle? One thing you can do is to listen to us. We are living with this violence every day. We are seeing it happen all around us and we have a lot to say. Over the last three months, almost 300 children in three parishes spoke up about violence at sessions organized by UNICEF, the Office of the Children's Advocate and Talk of Youth. We learned about the rights we have in the Convention on the Rights of the Child. And we reasoned about what it means to have these rights. Like the right to share our thoughts as we are here doing today. Let me bring you into our world. I will now read some of the experiences of violence that were shared by children at these sessions. This is what they wrote in their own words. Number one, between the age of five to 10, I was exposed to physical abuse. It was a case where I had been beaten to the point where it felt like nothing to me. Her excuse for beating me so harshly was that she was trying to discipline me, but still it didn't cover up for her scars that are left from her gruesome disciplinary actions that are still haunting me today. Number two, I have seen gunmen kill men. Number three, I have been sexually abused by my father's friend. Number four, I have seen parents verbally, emotionally, and physically abuse their child or children because of their reports. The children were told that they were worthless and would not turn out to be anything good in life. This left the children feeling unwanted, deserted, and some even started to feel suicidal. Hello everyone. Now, we sometimes take these things as a joke. When children talk, we may think they are just saying a poem or they are just uh, practicing drama or anything of the sort. But in real sense, they do have a point that they are making. In real point, they are passing a very vital and important information at the same time. Now, it's not the first time we see children saying or articulating the problems that we big people could have done it. It's not the first time we see children of this age are going out to cry out to the government for one, two, three things. Sometimes we may say they are being coached to say these things, but sometimes it's not even about the coaching thing. Now, uh, growing up, seeing all these problems your country goes goes through, seeing the atrocities, the insecurity, um, seeing how much uh, your leaders 
now misuse the resources seeing how much your school lacks some some very important facilities seeing how much your school is in bad shape seeing how much your society people are going through or are suffering seeing how much your parents are suffering will always make you have a word to say it's not about the coaching some people might say uh, the kid was coached to say this uh, to the prime minister i guess not because sometimes it's just the environment our kids or the environment our siblings go grow in that makes them to have one word or two words about their government or their leaders now it is so sad to see children actually facing the same problems we big people or we matured people face it is actually so bad seeing us the youth crying out because we are learned but we don't have jobs because we have the capabilities but we are not ever given the opportunity the same people have been in government for 10 30 40 years some have even been there for so long that they think they own the country now it is high time we bring our leaders to uh, we bring our leaders on the table and ask them some crucial questions now it is high time we actually uh, hold our leaders very very transparent it is actually the time we all talk about that we hold our leaders accountable to everything they do because this money they play they play around with these are uh, these resources they carry along as if they are theirs now belong to the people it's the people who pay the taxes it's the people who actually have the mandate who have the power to elect and reject it's the people who have actually made them to be there wherever they are it's the people who make them to go around with the fancy uh, vehicles with huge security men it's the people's resources the people's sweat it's the people who have actually made it possible so it is high time these people be 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 accountable to whatever they do it is high time we say no to arrogance we say no to bad leadership uh, it is high time we actually make it work for our generations imagine having a generation in the next uh 30 40 years which will inherit the problems that we allowed to exist now we have allowed corruption we have allowed bad leadership and we keep on electing bad leaders we keep on crying for the same problems we cry out day in day out elections come we elect the same people because we were just given tokens then we continue suffering and they can they continue making money and being billionaires and millionaires around then they keep on growing some horns yes the pride becomes so big that they even think the people are trash the only thing they wait is for elections then they come with some stolen money stolen taxes then they bribe us then we vote them back because we think they have changed or someone or a god or an angel appear to them and they were baptized during the night and they are going to work wonders it is high time and as you are seeing uh, we are having very bright generation in the coming years but what will this generation inherit joblessness unemployment i mean high insecurity corruption looted resources a bad country being faced with global warming everywhere because some one two three people embezzled some two three people looted extorted everything that belonged uh, to the people that could have done something to cope with this monster called global warming will our generations inherit deserts it is high time we come up and ask ourselves so many questions I'm very pleased with the courage this kid uh, has to face the prime minister and tell and tell him this is not right sir it is high time we get people who can talk for us 
we it's high time we talk for ourselves again we've elected members of parliament everywhere they are not working for us they rant rant and rant after being given the opportunity to serve the people what do they do they go in bed with the, 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 the looters with the corrupt leaders then they are given tokens their shares then they go silent they wait for one year to election or some months they come ranting then we see like they are baptized they are they are, they are the Moses of this world then we elect them our problems continues it is high time we elect people regarding their values we elect people on the basis of whatever they can do for the people not on whatever they can say we have people with sweet mouth but they actually can do nothing to our to the economy instead we've been seeing the economy failing day and night our economies are doing bad in the caribbean our economies are doing bad in africa but who speaks no one we all see they are going for those summits in the us they are going for those summits in europe and all we do they are bringing those investors our colonizers back in our countries new colonialism is actually happening who will save us it is time we save ourselves no one is coming to save us we may talk we may talk but without actions it's nothing we may talk people fight me instead of fighting those who have looted your resources people are fighting that's when we know there is a problem you fight the wrong people for the right reasons now you fight me just for exposing whatever is bad you fight me because of talking i'm talking the truth about someone who has has actually looted everything in your country my country is in a mess africa is in a mess the caribbean is also in a mess we have leaders with good mouth with good words but when it comes to deliverance to service deliverance to the people it's actually another thing that's where they draw the line they have been there for years and they keep on reclaiming re-elections they keep on doing the same then we are so much convinced because we think uh, some god appeared to them and they are saved we keep on electing them our problems deepen our problems deepen every day we get worse worse and worse then we want some people want me to keep shut some are even threatening me it's not me who is the problem it is those people i'm talking about are the problem please face them it is high time we stop the hypocrisy with that let's stop pretending we are not seeing the problems of course we see them then we keep quiet because we we think we can do nothing we can do something when i talk you talk someone else talks we share this information imagine it will reach them one day and they know the people are tired with them and someone will actually have sense after watching this video because we keep on bringing the problems they are not even the problems we are the problem because we are the one who elect them the wrong leaders if we don't elect them they could have no chance to be there to extort exploit and corrupt everything and embezzle everything and steal everything it is high time we start talking and stop the hypocrisy please thank you so much for having watched this video have a good day i appreciate if it's the first time please subscribe i love you all